Welcome to the Swift Healthcare video podcast, exploring the intersection of healthcare and leadership hosted by Dr. Patrick Swift. SwiftHealthcare.com is your resource for healthcare professionals to find coaching and consulting to engage, restore, and transform yourself and your organization. And now here's your host, Dr. Patrick Swift. Welcome to the Swift Healthcare video podcast. I'm delighted that you're here. Thank you for tuning in. Lee Tomlinson, patient Lee Tomlinson is going to be on the show and we're going to be talking about the naked truth about compassion. Lee, welcome to the show. It's, uh, it's good to be here and given my medical history, it's good to be anywhere. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you are here. Let me share with folks a little bit about your quick background here. The life mission of patient Lee is to inspire healthcare professionals to return compassionate care to its rightful place at the forefront of modern healthcare, to benefit patients, their families, the bottom line, and perhaps most importantly, folks, their own suffering burned out selves. Um, Lee's an award-winning television producer, movie movie studio. If you're watching, hence, that's why he's in a gown in a patient room. Perfect, thank you, Lee. And he's had a tremendous TED Talk, which has been widely viewed across the planet. Lee, thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure and my own, and Patrick, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk about the naked truth about compassion coming from a man wearing a patient gown right now. Tell us, what's the naked truth about compassion? In your words, let's talk about compassion. Well, I have to be honest with you and tell you that uh, before my latest medical experience, I had no idea what compassion meant. And I And I ask my audiences every single time I speak to them, and I've done hundreds in the last few years, you know, what is it? And it's it's hard to get your hands around it, but it really is simple. One, it's empathy. It's the willingness to deeply, deeply, deeply step into the shoes of another and feel their pain. And then be moved to action to do something to relieve that pain. Mm. From all of the healthcare professionals I've spoken to, that's why they got into healthcare, is because they wanted to relieve the pain of another. So pain is both mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. It's not just physical, it's both. And both need to be treated the same. We are healthcare workers, leaders, are mission-driven people. We're light workers. We want to make that difference to ease that suffering. And I know in one of your keynotes, I, I believe it's uh, titled Burnout Back to Brilliance. Yeah. Um, we can talk about the benefits to compassion. And in this episode on the, the naked truth about compassion, let's talk about the benefits of compassion from a perspective perhaps someone hasn't thought of before. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting is when you consider, first of all, there's obviously patient benefits. Now, these are not my opinion. These are medically, scientifically, uh, these are facts, true facts out of studies. One is we as patients, if we're treated in a compassionate environment, we have better outcomes. Better outcomes. (laughs) I'll take that pill every day. We have less pain, we have less anxiety, we have a stronger will to live. And because we pay such close attention, if you're compassionate with us, we listen and we have better long-term health. Now that's just for us, but here's the cool part. For people providing us with compassion, they get the exact same benefits. Increased workplace uh, satisfaction, better personal health, Decreased burnout, which affects 60% of healthcare workers, greater job security, and increased personal happiness. Don't be happy, be compassionate. But here's the other part. Healthcare is a business. I don't care if it's a not-for-profit or for, it's irrelevant. If you don't make a profit, you can't be in the, in the healing business. So what's true is, is that patients uh, who are treated compassionately, for the bottom line, it increases revenue. Mm. You have higher patient retention against all your competitors. You have a better reputation, which drives people to your hospital, 
you have lower staff turnover, saves you money. You have a more engaged staff, so they work harder. And you make less medical errors, which means less lawsuits. So and more and more consider, and more life saving massive benefits. Why would you not support that as an organization yeah. as a necessity for patients, your people, and your business? It's critical um, that we think about it that yep. way. That, yep. that compassion is a critical element in healthcare. The benefits to the patients, benefits to the staff, benefits to the organization. Uh, knowing we're going to be talking about this today, I. I Looked at my bookshelf and grabbed a book, An Epidemic of Empathy in Healthcare, Thomas Lee, the chief medical officer for Press Ganey. And along those lines of what you just said, he wrote, a creating an epidemic of empathy is not an act of charity. It's a strategic business imperative. For many healthcare organizations, pursuing this goal is actually a stay in business decision because we are entering an era in which the healthcare marketplace is driven by competition based on value. Yep. What pisses me off is that there are people who are engaged in this because it's about the bottom line of getting heads in beds, about turning revenue, about the business of healthcare. The people that are going to make the tremendous difference, the profound difference, are people like you, Lee, who are advocating for compassion in healthcare, yes. but also the providers and the leaders and the staff members and the organizations and collective communities committed to to hardwiring compassion to what we do every day in the care that we provide. And then there are the benefits, as you listed, the patient, the, pa the staff, the organization. It's a win-win for the right well, reasons. Yeah, and there are so many examples. And incidentally, it's a very, very fine book. UCLA Health was at one point ranked at 45th percentile in terms of HCAP scores. And then Dr. David Feinberg became the head of UCLA Health. Yeah. David we'll said one thing, we're starting with compassion for patients and you, but we must be compassionate to our patients. He managed to take his organization, 26,000 employees, from 46th to the 99th percentile. The higher your percentile when it comes to reimbursements for age caps, if you're higher, you get more than average. If you're not, you get average or you get less. So not only did he improve the experience and the outcomes for patients and the life of his uh, staff, but he also helped make them enormously financially successful based on one thing, compassionate patient care for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And if he were here, I'm sure he would say it was me and my team. It was my team oh. and the collective, all of us working together and, and give the praise uh, to compassion um, being yes. that difference maker. But you, you're, you're making a beautiful point that it takes that one person, whether yes. he, she, yes. they step up and say, damn it, yes. we're committing to compassion. Yes. We're no longer going to accept the status quo. We are setting a new standard in healthcare. Yes. Based on compassion. Yes. If you are in healthcare in any capacity whatsoever, you have only three jobs. One, treat often. Two, cure sometimes. Three, comfort always. And comfort is the definition of compassion. So if you're in healthcare, your job, no matter what, for yourself, your patients, and your colleagues, comfort always. We're always in pain somehow, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patient Lee, thank you for speaking your truth. I'm delighted you're able to be on uh, the show. Thank you for joining Swift Healthcare. And if folks are interested in learning more about you and what you do, where should they go? Well, you can go to my website, very clever, leetomlinson.com, or just shoot me personally an email and tell me what your thoughts are and how I can help. Lee at leetomlinson.com, and I will 
I'll put that in the show notes too. So if you're okay. driving, don't worry about it. It'll be in the show notes. Uh, but Lee at Lee Tomlinson.com. .com. And I, and I, you know, I, right. I've converted to digital, so it's just a blast and I can do it. I hate to not be in the room with you, but at least we can do it now digitally. So let yeah. me help. Good, good. Outstanding, Lee. Thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure and honor. Thank you, Patrick. God bless. And to you. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, rate, or leave a review about the show on your favorite platform and learn how to support the podcast as a patron at swifthealthcare.com, where you can also find the show notes and all of our episodes. Thanks for joining us.